Hi guys, it's Issa. I am back with another video. Um, this is just going to be a quick little video. I'm doing, I'm working on some glitter pens. So I thought I would do a couple with you. But these are super fun. So we need to grab them all, right? Anyway, super fun. Focus. And then I was trying to focus on the. Okay. Hang on. And then you. They're just pens. This one's a skinnier one. I don't know why it's not focusing. I got skinny ones and fatter ones. All different colors. Super fun and easy. This one I did with little Christmas light glitters. They're little quick Christmas bulbs. So I'm going to show you how to do a couple of them. Let me zoom you in just a bit. Okay. So this is just a little fun little project that you can do while binge watching YouTube videos. Preferably mine. I don't binge watch mine, but you should. Um, as a matter of fact, actually, right now I'm binge watching Wentworth. Have you guys ever seen that? It's on Netflix. It's about a girl prison. Alright, so this is how they come. I get my tons from Franz Glitter and More. Same place I get most of my glitter. And they come with a little stopper. This one is like an ombre. So you just unhook them. It has a little band here. I usually take that off with the stopper. Now I've already mixed up my mixture. I use 50% of the vegetable glycerin. I will link that below in the YouTube description and 50% just water um, my bottle says tap water but this is actually distilled water I don't know if it makes a difference I just had an extra bottle of the water from when Remy was here visiting so but 50 50 and when you first mix this up like with your water it uh, turns very cloudy at first but you just keep stirring for a couple seconds and it clears right back up and turns crystal clear like water again. Just like this. So, this is a ombre-ish one. So I thought this would be a fun glitter. It is a color shift called Calypso. It goes from blue to purple to pinks. It does not take a lot, you guys. Um, this might be too chunky to go through my baby funnel. 
see this? This is about the amount of glitter that it takes. This is like a mix between a fine and a chunky. So you should get a lot of movement from it. If you just do all fines, it sometimes clumps. See, you got like that much glitter. Let me cap this. And then I put the glycerin water in one of these Loli Vefe bottles that I use for my paints. And then I just put like about a halfway and then get it all moving. And then fill it the rest of the way. Now you want to leave room for your stopper, right? So Oops. See, even when I'm not doing paint, I'm still making a mess. <laughs> so then, after you have it filled up, put your ring back on and then your stopper. And sometimes this can get a little tricky. Some of them go right in and you want it a little bit tight, but because there's a little bit of air there, it's not letting me push it all the way in. So I use this little really sharp weeding tool and I kind of like hold it like that and I put it in between the stopper. See how the air is coming out and the stopper is going back, going in better? You gotta get all that air out so that your stopper will go in. And then I just like push it on something hard. See, more air is coming out. Sometimes you might have put a little bit too much fluid in it too. So sometimes you got to take the stopper back out. Doing your ratios is... Actually, each one is different because they're kind of all different sizes. But this one in particular, I'm not getting any more air out, so I think I put too much water. So I will just take the stopper back out. And I'm going to get rid of Just like two drops of water. And then put it back in. Now, of course, I'm going to have to get the air out again. Press it down. See, 
see, and then it can be flat. I like to push it in just a little bit more than flat. And then to be extra secure, I don't think you need to do this. But I use the E6000. glue just on my stir stick and I just put it around that and then I put a little bit around on the sides which when you put your cap back on, it's going to squeeze out, but there's still be a little bit of glue. Because these pens, they don't, um, where'd it go? Right here. They don't screw on, they just kind of go on. So as I'm putting it on, I'm just kind of twisting it. Then I push some glue out. So you just take your rag. Where did it go? This is just a little alcohol. Just to get the glue off around the edges. And then to clean off This glycerin is um, kind of sticky. And you can use contact solution. Uh, people use baby oil. If you want a slower if you want slower. So see how pretty that is? And it's color shifting, kind of like the pen, so it matches super good. So, there you have it, guys. Um, yeah, the glycerin gets a little bit... That's where the glitter went. So you just got to clean your pens off because your hands are all over that water and glycerin. It gets a little sticky. I mean, not, not sticky like resin. Just kind of filmy. Alright, so I'll do one more with you. And then I'll let you go. You can also put a little bit of the glycerin in first just to make it easier for the glitter so you're not all um, so it doesn't get down to the bottom and chunk up but like I said you just shake it and it comes across but you see how little bit of glitter I'm using Oops. And you can use a little bit more if you want. But if you put too much in, then you're not going to have that cool movement. This glitter is a chunky glitter called Union. It's like the bluest of blues. Can't use that skewer anywhere. Oh, so you just shove it down in there. Put some more glycerin in. Shake it up. Get that glitter moving. See, it's kind of chunked. That's why I usually put the. Glitter in first. 
Something is knocking when I shake this. So it's all chunked up at the top. Get it off the sides and then we'll fill it up the rest of the way. So um, these pens, I'm not sure if I told you or not, I get them from Friends Glitter and More. And um, depending on the pen, they're between, um, I think she has some for like $1.25 each. Then there's $1.50, $1.75. There's some for $1.85. Um, I think the rose gold ones are the buck 85s and they're really nice heavy pens so I mean two bucks and like a few sprinkles of glitter and you got yourself a nice little stocking stuffer right or to like resell at um craft fairs and such. Uh, this isn't ready to come on yet. I need a couple more drops. One, two. And then we'll put this on. Oops. Make sure you don't forget your ring. Put this on. I gotta get something better to stick down there because this is really thin. So I don't wanna end up breaking it because I use it as a weeding tool. So we'll get all that air out. And as you're doing that and you're pushing, you can hear it escape. Whoops, push it down. It's totally flat now, but I like to go just a little bit further. Just so that when I put that glue on, it helps create the seal. not create a seal. It helps the seal. And um, you can buy refills for these pens. And the great thing about it is that you see I'm gluing it up, but the refills actually are in the other part of the Of the pen so it's not going to matter that this is glued up all nice and tight and then put this back on kind of twist it a bit see all that glue that's pressed out part of the row. I'm just smearing glue, glue on it. And then clean up the whole pen. And voila! You got a beautiful pen. 
so the refills are down here so see you can buy these refills and just refill so you can keep your same pretty pen so there guys it's a cool little fun thing like totally non-toxic so it can be a fun little um let me grab the two that we made together it could be a fun little gift or fun little gift idea or here let me back you up fun little gift idea stocking stuffers um, giveaway gifts this is that Calypso and then the pen looks like it was made for that pen don't it I don't know what's going on with my maybe it's just focusing too much on the background And then this is the one made with Union. Pretty cool. And uh, like I said, it's all non-toxic stuff. So you can um, do this project with your kids too. I know that we can't really have our kids help us with resin and all that stuff or spray paint but this is totally something that they can do and I think it's a pretty good payoff they could make their own pens and be super proud of them they could even make their own pens and then give them to their family members at Christmas time something that you know they made themselves that looks completely professionally done so there they are guys I hope you enjoyed it um, if you're looking for some of those pen blanks I know a lot of glitter companies have them I just get mine from Franz Glitter and more I don't have a coupon code for you but if you're a first time um, visitor over there I believe she has a code that's at the top of the screen so, um, yeah, so that'll be it. Um, the glycerin, the one I use is this one. Like I said, it does not take anything. And you want to make sure it's the one that is food grade safe, right? So very simple, very little products. Uh, these are the two glitters that I used today Calypso gorgeous and Union gorgeous and yeah so that's my video for today guys uh, it was a short one and Oh, there's one more thing. I have a new, I have a, I'm going to be doing a new tumbler. I'm just waiting for the tumbler attachment that'll fit this. But look guys, isn't it cool? Oh, I'm going to set it back here so you can see it. It's like a Coke bottle. This is the lid. I just taped it up but it's a screw lid so yeah just waiting I may get impatient and just do a tack it method on it but that will be in an upcoming video so I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope you have fun making your pens if you are interested in any pens let me know I will be putting them on my Etsy shop or you can email me at Cody and Jake's mom at gmail.com. It will be in the description. 
along with the other materials. So there you have it. Have a great day and I will see you guys on my next video. Okay guys, here's a close up on a darker background. And uh, when I turned off the camera, I forgot to tell you guys or show you guys. I did another one with this glitter, but I added just one drop of alcohol ink in the fluid in the pen. And I used Marabou's Neon Pink. Just one drop, I thought. I wonder if this would work if I colored the water. So I put it, oops, come on. So the difference is the same, oops. These are the same glitters. So that's another option. Same glitters, different result one drop okay so these are the rose gold ones and then these are the skinny ombres this is the fat ombre you can see the difference And the Union, this is called Candy Crush, this glitter. You're getting sleepy. So I just wanted to come back on and show you guys up close and personal. This is called Cupid Shuffle, this glitter. This yellow one is sunflower. And then these are the little Christmas ornaments. Come on. See, I thought I wanted to show you on a black background because they were really hard to focus on. All right. So they're focusing a little bit better on the black. Alright guys, that's the end. See ya.